Hello and welcome to Rivers Lesson 7, The Effects of Flooding. So this lesson is going to follow on from the previous lesson, What Causes Flooding? And we're now going to look at the effects of this flooding. So uh, the effects of flooding can be split into three types. We can have social effects to do with people, environmental effects to do with the uh, environment, nature, landscape, and economic effects uh, to do with money. We can also split um, these effects into short-term effects and long-term effects. So short-term ones being that um, these effects which happen for a few weeks after a flood event, the long-term effects are the ones which can happen for even up to years after the events happened. So we're going to focus in this lesson on a flood event which was caused by Storm Desmond. Okay, so Storm Desmond happened in 2015. It happened in the winter of 2015, usually when we get um, more increased rainfall, and it impacted um, the northwest, really impacted Cumbria, Lancashire, and southern Scotland. And you can see on that map there uh, where the increased amounts of rainfall were, all focused on this northwest of Great Britain, and it had some devastating impacts, and that's what we're going to look at now. So the social effects, 43,000 homes across Cumbria and Lancashire had power cuts. 5,200 homes were affected and unfortunately one person died in, in the event of this flood in Cumbria and about 40 schools were closed. All of these effects are the ones which are affecting people. Economic effects. Rail and road services were disrupted. Um, the estimated cost was £500 million across Cumbria and the government had to provide £50 million for flood victims and businesses. As well as this, um, some companies, insurance companies, had to pay out £325 million to these businesses that had been affected. When flooding happens, all of the houses, the businesses that are flooded, they have to almost start again because everything is just completely ruined. Finally, environmental uh, effects. Rivers were significantly altered with increased rates of erosion. and There was lots of landslides and mudslides, especially in the Lake District. Heavy rain washed nutrients away from the soil, so making it more difficult for plants to grow. And vegetation was flooded, causing habitat loss where some of those animals might have lived. Okay, the final thing um, in this lesson. Why might we see more floods like this in the future? So there's three main, th uh, three main reasons, really. Uh, more buildings on floodplains. So link back to last lesson, we build more, um, more buildings. There's going to be more impermeable surfaces, so there's going to be more chance of flooding happening. Um, deforestation, if we remove more trees, then there's more likely that water is going to get to the river quicker and cause more flooding. And the last one, and probably the most important and the biggest reason why we might see more floods in the future, is climate change. So climate change is meaning that we have more, um, more extreme weather, really. If you think about just, just this year, really, in February, we had um, just rain pretty much every single day. And then after that, we had the driest spring on record. So two extremes, one of the wettest um, Februarys ever, and then the driest spring ever after that. So climate change is causing this, and it might cause more floods uh, in the winter months in the future. So what you're going to do um, for this lesson is you're going to create a um, case study sheet about Storm Desmond. So I've given you some information on this video, but I want you to maybe do a little bit more research and you can either fill in this sheet, which I will put on show my homework. You can make your own sheet. You can do it as subheadings. You can do it as a mind map. As long as you've got these five headings, and obviously Storm Desmond is kind of a title, you can do it any way you like. Okay, so general information. When did it happen? Where did it happen? What type of rainfall was the Those type of things. Social effects. I've talked about those, the ones that affect people, economic, the ones that are to do with money, and environmental, the ones that are to do with nature and the landscape. And this one, will it happen more in the future? Please try and answer this. It's like a, as um, not as just those three bullet points. Try and do it as a bit of an answer instead. Okay. So what you need to do, um, watch the video, which you've just done, um, complete the case study sheet for Storm Desmond, and then do the quiz as always. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much for listening and I uh, hope you're all well.